Hey guys, I'm finally sharing my everyday natural makeup routine with you guys in this video. I also have a giveaway that will be at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a mirror here off to the side, so I hope it's not in the way. I'm starting off with my foundation. I love this foundation. I go in with about a pump and a half, and I use my fingers to blend this in. I find I get the best coverage with this as well as the most natural finish. So I have a lot of discoloration here around my mouth and acne um, scars that I like to cover. And I find with a pump and a half, this really covers everything. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I already have on some SPF. I use this kind of as my primer and it works so good. I skipped this area because I'm actually going to go in with a darker foundation and just cover that area. I'm, it's that time of the month and this area tends to get a little bit darker during that time. So I just go in with a darker shade and I find that it really hides that hyperpigmentation and discoloration so that's a little tip if you have discoloration around your mouth or anywhere else okay so i'm gonna wipe my fingers off and the foundation on my lips okay and then we're gonna go in with our first question it's actually like things that you guys need advice on this one caught my eye and it left me speechless i'm engaged to a guy but his brother loves me what do i do okay that is actually absolutely crazy. I've never been in such a situation. I've actually never heard of that before. So my best advice to you would be to be open to your fiance as well as your future brother-in-law and just be like, hey, look, this is not going to work because I'm with your brother and that's very uncomfortable and it makes me feel awkward. However, if you have feelings for the brother and you no longer like are into your fiance, I think you just need to be honest and open about it. I think it's better for your future to be honest and it's better for everyone involved. So I hope that helps. Um, okay, I'm gonna answer another one and then we'll get back into my makeup. What advice would you give to someone whose husband is always talking to other women? Ah, oh, that is tricky. I mean, what is he talking to them about? Like, is it work related? If so, I feel like that's okay. Um, if it's for, I don't know, any other purpose, then of course I would sit him down and be like, look, this is like crossing boundaries. It's making me feel uncomfortable and it's just not something that I'm okay with and have that open conversation. If you have reason to believe that he's, you know, misbehaving or is just not being faithful, then I definitely would call him out on it. Um, however, if you don't have any reason to not trust him and you're just being a little bit like insecure or overthinking something about work related things or just like family or things like that, then I would just sit him down and just tell him that you feel uncomfortable and hopefully that resolves the problem. Okay, so for my concealer, I'm using the Sephora Collection Concealer. I rave about this all the time. It's the best concealer ever. It's just a um, light to medium buildable coverage and you guys will see I just highlighted the areas that I want more light and it gives a beautiful bright effect and it's so cheap it's like $14 it's actually on sale um, from the 5th to the 15th um, on Sephora's website so if you guys are watching this then definitely pick it up it comes out to nine bucks and I'm in the shade Titan and I'll be linking everything down below for you guys with my exact shades, so don't worry about that. I'm blending all that in with the Equa Tools Beauty Sponge. This thing is freaking amazing. It's like six bucks, and I truly believe that it gives my makeup that overall airbrush look. This blends things in like a dream. Like, my foundation blends in so well with this thing. Obviously, I applied my foundation with my fingertips, but I go in with the sponge um, and I just kind of blend everything out. Now I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Translucent Powder. I go in with the teeniest amount on my um, little sponge. I dust off a little on my hand and I just go in um, under my eyes, pretty much only where I get a little bit oily. So I'm just going in with really lightly and patting it in ever so lightly under my eyes, a little bit around my nose, around the corners of my nose and just a little bit on my forehead okay I'm gonna jump in with my bronzer I'm so sad it's discontinued it was one of my favorites I'm just going in with a brush and I start from the back side of my cheekbones and I really just like pack it on back here 
and the most product is back here and then I slowly like bring it towards the front. I'm also not dragging this on my face, I'm just like pushing it into my skin and I find that this technique works best for like a really chiseled look which I really like so I'm just gonna press this in like that. I'm so sorry for looking away right here. I feel like I'm not making eye contact with you guys, but can I bring this here closer? It might slightly be in the way. I don't know. While I do the other side, I'm going to answer another question. This one made me really sad. So this one says, I am 18. I'm Daisy. I'm too young to think about marriage, but to be honest, it's all I think about. I'm scared of marriage. I don't ever want to get married, but someday I know I'll have to. I hate the idea of falling in love. I'm not saying that there's no such thing called love, but falling in love will get you hurt. Nothing good ever comes out of it. It's only temporary happiness followed by endless love. What should I do? That made me really sad, honestly, because I think that there's so many stories on social media, mine's included, that show like the negatives and the bad side of marriage. But to be honest, there's so many happy marriages and there's so many people that are like, having the time of their life in their relationship so I want you to know and any girl who's scared out there that not all marriages are bad in fact like most marriages are so fun and full of happiness and love and in any relationship whether that be like your spouse or with family friends there's always going to be ups and downs so yes it's not always rainbows and sunshine but that's like part of like going through something with your partner and yeah you will get hurt sometimes but the love and happiness that you'll get out of a marriage is far beyond that so please don't be scared so I'm just taking the bronzer and now I'm just like lightly dusting it on my nose. I'm not contouring, I'm just like lightly bringing back some shadows because I feel like I lost all the shadow when I put all the foundation on my face. Oh, and I also take this up into my eyebrows. Um, I just find like bringing a little bit of dimension to my eyes really makes my eyes pop. And I'm gonna go in with my blush now. I'm using the Milani blush. This thing is shattered, but it's so good. This really gives me a soft focus look, which I really love. So I focus this like at the, kind of towards the middle and I work it up. So I think I have a little too much on actually. So I'm gonna take this and do that. And everything, I'm just like taking it up because I don't wanna drag my face down. I feel like I rushed wearing hijab, any advice? You know, I feel like you'll never be ready to wear hijab. It's a lifelong journey and with time, I feel like it gets easier. Take your time and take it slowly. If you feel like in some parts you need to improve, then focus on that. And I feel like renewing your intentions are always the best way to reset your mindset about hijab. So even myself, I catch myself like 16 years in thinking like, oh, I don't know, just being a little doubtful about hijab and I just go back to listening to a few lectures, reading the Quran and understanding how many blessings are actually in wearing hijab and it just like, I don't know, sparks something in me and it motivates me to like just keep going. So that would be my best advice. I'm just going to go in with some lip liner because my lips are really bothering me. This is the Morphe lip liner in Sweet Tea. This is my everyday natural lip combo that I'm about to do. So... All I did was put on some chapstick and I just lined my lips. Okay, so that is the lip combo. I just felt really weird with my lips being super nude, so. Why are Desi people trained to force their culture into the girl? Living with a mean mother-in-law was so toxic and literally almost ruined my marriage. Still have PTSD from it and I probably need therapy. This really broke my heart because unfortunately in the Desi like, culture, we do have a joint family system. And I think more so that applied to like back in the day because financially it just made sense back home to live together. If you guys have the means to, you can try to do like the joint family homes where it's still pretty segregated. So like there's two kitchens, there's two entrances. Um, maybe something like that can be worked out. But honestly, I mean, it's really hard. If there's no other solution and your in-laws must live with you, my recommendation is to like just sit down with your mother-in-law and just have like an open, honest conversation and just tell her how you feel. I'm sure like you've talked to your mother-in-law and I'm not giving the best advice here, but talking to your mother-in-law, talking to your spouse, and then finding like living situation that accommodates both your in-laws and yourself and finding that happy medium is probably like the best approach. I'm going in with some eyeliner now and I just lightly like line my waterline. 
Now I'm just going in with my eyelash curler and I'm going to curl my lashes and give my eyelashes a good coat of mascara. This is honestly my favorite part of makeup because I feel like it really brings the look together. So I'm going to just go in with a couple coats. I go pretty heavy with mascara and I'm sorry, I'm going to like block the view, but I have to get really close to a mirror. I start from the root and I like wiggle it up so slowly all the way up and I'm not focused on like the tips too much I'm just focused at the root because I really love like volume versus length so that is two coats looking really good I'm gonna go in with a question by the way I was using the princess lash uh, mascara by essence so I'll link it down below Okay, this is a serious one and I want to give it the right attention. Advice for someone going through depression and having suicidal thoughts. Okay, this should not be taken lightly and I'm going to just say a couple things and I really hope you'll take my advice. First of all, please go and talk to somebody that you feel really comfortable with. It could be anyone. It doesn't have to be your family member. It doesn't have to be your mom or dad. It could be friend, teacher, even a stranger. You can even DM me. Just talk to somebody because talking to somebody really will help you out and at, at minimum, it'll make you feel a little, little, little bit better. And then after that, I really, really highly recommend you seek some professional help and it doesn't have to be disclosed. You don't have to tell your family. If you don't feel comfortable, you can simply call a hotline and I'll link one down below. And it's really easy. You don't have to give out any of your information. You can keep it confidential and this person will just help you like walk through your thoughts. And it really is very, very beneficial. Okay, so I'm nearing the end of my makeup routine. The last few steps are new and I'm obsessed with them. So I go in with a highlight. This is from Iconic London. I'm actually working with them here in a couple months, but this portion of the video is not sponsored and I genuinely love these products. Okay, so I go in with three little dots and then I think I put a little too much. So I just blend it in with my finger and you guys just have to see the magic happen. Like, just watch. My face will be transformed. I will look dewy, glowy, and fresh. Um, and I find like the products that I use could be a little bit drying, so this just brings back that glow. Like, look at that, that looks so good. And I bring a little bit up on my nose as well. I'm gonna go in with the spray just to show you guys how like the combination looks. It looks phenomenal. <laughs> so I'm going in with the Prep Set Glow Iconic Linden spritz and I'm going to just spray my face with this. So while this dries, I'm going to just quickly do my eyebrows. I'm going in with the powder, powder Duo from Anastasia and I think this is discontinued. I was looking for it this morning to link in my um, live and I couldn't find it. So I'm really lightly just like dusting this on my brows. I really don't fill in my brows too much because you can tell they're already super dark and defined. My signature look is a little cat eye, like a really thin, sharp cat eye with a ton of bronzer and blush. So I go in and I'm trying to show you guys how I do this because I did get questions about this. So I only put a little flick at the end of my eye. I don't do a full liner around rimming my eye. I just do a little flick at the end. So I start where like my last eyelash is and I just literally take the eyeliner and I flick it. Like that. And then I ever so slightly just connect it a little bit. So it's like the last one third of my eye has a little a little wing. And that's pretty much all I do. I find that if I line my entire eyelid, it just looks a little bit too extra. So I'm doing the same thing here. I just do a little flick and then I connect the edge. This is actually my finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Jumping into the giveaway, I just really wanted to thank you guys for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are insane. All of your love and support means so much to me. When you guys support my channel, it really motivates me to create more and stuff. So I wanted to do a little giveaway. So there will be 
two winners. Each of you will win a first aid beauty kit as well as a $100 Sephora gift card. So you can purchase any of the things you saw me using today that you may have liked. So all you have to do to enter is like this video, comment down below what was your favorite part of this video, and leave your Instagram handle name so I'm able to like DM you. And then also subscribe to my channel three things i'll list the rules out in the description bar as well i hope you guys enjoy this and i'll see you guys in my next one bye